Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sürci. Thanks for joining us. Sanctions against Russia will lead to tragedy. That's what the strategic director of the Budapest-based think tank Center for Fundamental Rights claims. Istvan Kovac said that it is in fact Europe that is doing poorly because of the sanctions. He points out that the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, is nevertheless still upholding embargoes against Russia despite Europe's suffering. The European Parliament is expected to vote on Sunday about withholding EU funds from Hungary over concerns of the rule of law in the country. However, several MEPs from other nations have actually sided with the Hungarians at a press conference. While left-wing politicians say there is no democracy in Hungary, some French, Spanish and Austrian MEPs claim that a draft report on the country is false and that it is unacceptable to defame it the way it does. Hungary's ruling Fidesz party believes that the European Parliament does not want to come to an agreement with them. Instead, it claims that it wants to blackmail them. You need as much energy in keeping the peace as you would in waging a war. That's what Hungarian President Katalin Novak said in Kosovo, where she was addressing Hungary's K-4 contingent stationed there. In fact, last year, Hungary was in charge of the peace mission in the country, where its main task was to keep the peace in the Western Balkans. And another Hungarian military contingent will be serving abroad, this time in Iraq. Its purpose will be also in keeping the peace. Altogether, 139 personnel are taking part in the mission. They said goodbye to their loved ones in the northeastern city of Nyerechaza prior to their deployment. Furthermore, this is the first ever Hungarian military unit that is made up primarily of reserves. Their job will also be to prevent illegal migration and terrorism. The Hungarian Chamber of Medicine says that the newest abortion law in Hungary does not conflict with their code of ethics. Earlier this week, Hungary presented a new decree where women considering an abortion had to first, quote, listen to the fetal heartbeat before beginning the procedure to apply for an abortion. The law is still fundamentally the same, according to experts, where every woman still has the right to an abortion. The International Civil Association, Citizen Go, says that if the resolution can even prevent one abortion, then it will have been worth it. And that's all for now. But don't forget, you can always catch Hungary Reports live at about 11.15 p.m. Central European time. You can also watch us in repeats and online. Please stick around if time permits. We also have news broadcasts in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching and Viso Natasha.